How long would it take to build an entire Super Bowl winning roster if you could only add players one by one if you guessed them on Draftle? I mean, holy crap. Honestly, there's, there's no way. There's no way. No way. No way we have- Huh? He's a- <laughs> Freaking no. Who? We- What? Make sure to leave a like if you want a 20 and 0 version of this. Follow the socials to stay connected and uh, yeah, enjoy. And here we are once again, this time though, on Draftal. If you don't know what it is or how to play, you can pause the video, read over the rules right here, but it is pretty easy to follow along once we get into it. And of course, comment down below your guess on how many players you think I'm gonna have to add until we finally win a Super Bowl. And okay, with all that out the way, let's go with the reigning offensive rookie of the year in CJ Stroud under 2020. Maybe we go with like, I think Andrew Thomas was, um, Pick number four, if I'm not mistaken, if I can find my freaking mouse. He was number four. It looks like it's going to be number three in 2019 or 2018, of course. Is this like Solomon Thomas? He is. Wait, what pick is it? Wait, what? I don't even know the dang rules. Okay, it's going to be um in the draft in two years. No, within 10 picks. Oh, that's a wide little margin. Okay, then. Maybe I'll try like Devin White. I'm pretty sure he went like top six to the Buccaneers. Of course, it looks like he's going to be a linebacker in 2019 alongside Devin White. Was Bradley Chubb chosen here? Was he, um, no way this thing's back. All right, we now know it's not the NFC East, West, or South, and it's a linebacker in 2019 chosen in the top 12, it looks like. So we got like the Bears. I'll just throw off Roquan Smith, even though I think he was chosen a little bit later on. No, he was actually picked number eight. That was 2018, though. It is not Chicago. Maybe we can go, ooh, Rashawn Gary. Rashawn, no, I chose Rashawn Weaver. I was about to say, huh? Rashawn Gary is our very first player. As you can see, I haven't played. I, I trusted it on my phone this time around. So we got a clean streak of one game, one play, and all that good stuff. But I mean, hey, what a way to start things off. As Rashawn Gary is officially player number one. However, even with Mr. Gary, we still got 0-17. Our defense is still a zero overall. As he had himself 72 tackles, 13 tackle for losses, and even six sacks. Not too bad. And hey, let's try to pair up Rashawn with an absolute demon off the edge alongside him. Max Crosby, who of course was chosen in round freaking four in 2019. Looks like maybe 2018 again in the AFC. See? So here, let's just get some divisions out the way. TJ Watt, I know, was chosen late round one. I just heard the weirdest sound. I don't know what that was. Um, Looks like 2018 again. And in the AFC North, though, that's good. It's not on defense. What am I doing? Maybe we can try, like, Mark Andrews. I know he was chosen in round three. Oh, my God. Mark Andrews is my go. And if you know why, then you know why. Wait, what? <laughs> That was sick. Well, this is a hell of a way to start things off, right? I would say we got a blue chip player on defense and offense now. Another 0-17s, no surprise, but the team is trending upwards. As with Mark Andrews, Kyler Murray actually threw for a touchdown this year. Don't worry about this. Our leading rusher was Zach Pasco with one attempt, zero yards. And it was the new addition himself finding himself in the end zone with 41 catches, 423 yards to add on to that. Hey, all I'm saying is we're cooking already. I love that they have the guest distribution here to look over. I don't know why that wasn't on the original Weddle. Let's go. I just typed in Weddle. I was going to go Jalen Waddle bang 2021 in round two round three okay afc as well and on defense i'm gonna go antoine winfield i know he was why is antoine winfield's dad on here we'll go winfield jr though as he was the draft class before him am i dumb also the afc am i okay <laughs> we can go Trevon melrig here from the raiders i know he went in round two it's gonna be afc west i already went C afc west is big time though i'm gonna go asante samuel jr i think he might have been round two but let's just try to get the team he was but not the chargers either Ooh, nick bolton nick bolton on the chiefs nah it's not him this thing is still here by the way i don't know how to get rid of it i'm sorry <laughs> it is a linebacker though not on the chiefs so the broncos Baron Browning, was he in this class? Eh, hey, I'll take it. And three turns in, we quietly just have a nasty edge pairing already. Baron Browning at number three, is it enough for win one? Nope, of course not. Although, it seems like he had a monster year. Oh my god, huh? 14 and a half sacks, 16. Tackle for losses, even at 100 tackles at left end. Oh my god, he was insane. Hey, if you're still here and haven't subscribed to the channel, please scroll down, subscribe, because around 80% of the people that watch haven't subscribed yet, so help a brother out. Let's get that number under 80%, please, especially if, you know, you enjoy this type of content. There's plenty more of it to come, and, um, yeah, that's all. Love you all, and, um, subscribe. But back to draft, we go, and I'm excited. I like this. I am just a little scared, though, because I don't know where some people are drafted. You know what I mean? Let's go, let's go Puka Nakul right now. It's gonna be a little later, though, around 5. We literally got nothing. <laughs> Let's go with my boy Christian Wilkins. By the way, it is the team that drafted them. So Wilkins will be in the Dolphins. AJ Brown will be on the Titans and so on and so forth. 2018, 2017, round one. Picks 13 to 23. I've been sitting here for like three minutes. I, I can't think of anybody. <laughs> 
Um, all right, let's just fire off some names just to see the divisions. We'll go with Jalen Rams here. We know he's from Florida State. That is big. So I'm definitely thinking DB now. We have the East and South. I think Darwin was from Florida State, wasn't he? Yes, he was. And bro, I'm not gonna lie, Drafto seems to be a little bit nicer than Weddle and the Wheel. Because ladies and gents, I don't know if we could have started any better. Still 0-17, but that's okay. We move. Because I'm as eager as ever to get back to Drafto and see who we're gonna get next. Because the only player that we could get that would make things a little better is the young goat himself. Nope, it is not quarterback. It is offense, though. Looks to be round two in the recent years. <laughs> um, we can try out like T. Higgins then from the Bengals. It is in the north, not a receiver though. It looks like round three. Maybe we try like a lineman. Dewan Jones, baby. It is a lineman. Oh god, this could be bad. Lineman in the draft, in the later rounds especially, bro. <laughs> I don't freaking know. <laughs> um, what team is it? It's the Steelers. Okay, Steelers O-line. I'm out. <laughs> I don't know. Kevin, Kevin Dotson? I know he was drafted there, right? No, that was my only hope. Why is he a guard? What's guard and O-line? What does that mean? <laughs> Crap, dude. There's, I'm not getting this, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The other guy that was alongside Kendrick Green? No, please, man. How was it not him? How was it not him? Wait a second. It's not even on the Steelers. I haven't guessed the Ravens. What am I doing? Don't they have some big ass dude too? Daniel Falele? Come on, man. I don't know how much deeper in my bag I get. I'm running out. I'm running out. 2021. I have no idea. Orlando Brown. He was all the way in 2018 though. What is the difference between tackle, guard, and O-line? This, this is just going to have to be a forfeit. I'm going to be honest with you. Ben Cleveland. I wasn't getting that. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Wheel of Death. I'm here a little bit earlier than I was hoping for. We got four good players. Hopefully it's Baron Browning though. You know what I mean? It's going to be Darwin. It's going to be Rashawn Gary. I mean, it was only one of four. They're all pretty good. Rashawn, and for the little time you were here, you were a great guy. I feel like we connected on many different levels, but I'm going to have to let you go already. And it's all because of this dude. All my homies hate Ben Cleveland. And obviously, with no Rashawn Gary now, we did not add a win. But tell you what, hopefully Baron Brown can hold it down on his own until we get somebody else. And five turns in to already miss one is kind of pain. I'm not going to lie. Just stop giving me late round linemen. <laughs> Oh no. NFC, NFC. We can try Tevin Jenkins of the Bears, of course. No, he was in the same class. It's going to be round three. And that was also the same division. We'll try Cam Jurgens from the Eagles up next. Okay. How about a little Abraham Lucas up next? Abraham Lucas round three, the right tackle of the Seahawks. Give him to me, baby. And hey, would you look at that? Our first O lineman. 0 and 17, even with adding in Abraham Lucas. However, we do have. A, a triple double now i guess <laughs> back for turn number seven and all right drafto enough with the um the late round offensive alignment please how about somebody on defense in round two to three we'll try jalen petrie here on the texans not a safety however it is round two okay and 2023 so the most recent class wait i got penn state i got penn state jaquan brisker no it's 2023 the most recent one, round two in the afc penn state penn state penn state um joey porter Joey Porter, who went at uh, pick 32, funnily enough, because the Dolphins are very stupid. Welcome, Joey Porter Jr., though. Got to redeem myself a little bit after losing out on Ben Cleveland, but at the same time, were you expecting me to guess Ben Cleveland? And everybody, welcome in Joey Porter. Still 0-17, however, the defensive pass towards per game is still 32. And I'm looking at this now, I'm not sure why it says we're on a six win streak because we missed Ben Cleveland just, I think, two spins ago. Don't really know. Let's go CD. Actually, I just went with a cowboy. Let's switch it up to Justin Jefferson in the same draft class. Nope, it's going to be 2021, 2022 on defense. And rounds four to five. Are you kidding me? How can we not see yellow on the rounds? Hufunga up next in round five. It's round six or round seven on defense. What are you trying to do to me? Um, well, this is going to be freaking tough. Let's go Herbig. I will not say his full name. It's going to be from Wisconsin in 2022. Is there a hope? I'm going to try to get the division out the way just so we know. So not, not, not the north, not the south. Try out the AFC East. It looks like it's going to be the west again. I feel like we've gotten the west a lot. Do Chris Jones. We can get defensive tackle out the way too. Not that. Well, this is certainly something, isn't it? Malcolm Coons off the Raiders. It is going to be defensive end on the Chargers or the Broncos. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. There is pretty much no shot. No shot. Matt... <laughs> Who is that? Drafto. I mean, come on. I thought we had something nice going. Matt Hess Henningsen, 66 overall. Ah. And now we got to go back here. And here's what we know about Drafto so far. They have given me some bangers, some superstar players, but <laughs> they've also given me some absolute nobodies in round five, six, and seven here. 
and Joey Porter, who we just recently added, is now gonna have to leave. All because of freaking Matt! And Joey Porter's stint here was the literal definition of this picture. And this is gonna be a roller coaster of emotions, isn't it? As just eight turns in, we are already having a rough time, losing out on two players already, A, the AFC offense recent but it's gonna be round four plus again man you can try out um isaiah pacheco from the chiefs it is 2022 it looks like round four to five then maybe we can try elijah higgins i don't know that's who the dolphins took later on it looks like it's gonna be round five then not a receiver either and in the afc south oh i beg just don't be a lineman dude although i suppose i could try juice scruggs to start things off okay it is we know the south wait round two is highlighted oh round four okay round four not that i know who went round four by heart but <laughs> Um, a Conquo? We can try him out. I'm not sure where he went in the draft. It's Chiggy Conquo, and if you know why I like Chiggy, then you know. And with a Conquo now here, he's going to be at tight end one, and I moved Mark Andrews out to be our number one receiver. This looks oddly familiar. Another goose egg for us. That little change, however, got Kyler Murray up to zero touchdowns. As we totally need a lot more help on this offense. And what better way to start things off? By getting Josh Allen as your QB. Okay. Go Javon Holland up next. We do know what's round two now. It's... Can try maybe a Jalen Johnson on the Bears. Not him. Not corner either. What about Boye Mafe on the Seahawks? It is defensive end. Okay, not the West either though. And we do know it's picks between 37 and 39. Okay, I got it now. Yep. <laughs> In my head, I don't think it's anybody on the East. So I'm going to think about the South. I guess we could try it out first. I'll go your Turgros Montos on the Panthers, of course. It is not him, but we got lit we got the exact pick. We got everything. <laughs> God, I am so sorry about this thing. I don't know why it's here. Round two, dude. I should get this, man. Wait, Kalaja Kansi. Kalaja Kanti, Kalaja Kanti, Kalaja... Not Kalaja Kanti. He was also round one, pick 19. Am I okay? Is it on the Falcons then? I just want to check out. It is on the Falcons. Who have they taken, dude? Um, please tell me this is not Arnold Ebicady again. It is. <laughs> he wasn't going to give me this time, even though I think he's... He should be listed at linebacker, should he not? I guess defensive end works too, but you know how the things work. He's listed at outside linebacker here too. And come on now, Arnold. I vow to never miss the reigning Falcon sack leader ever again. Epicady still couldn't do it though, but the defensive pass yards per game is up to 31 now because of the added pressure. As he did only have three and a half sacks, but 19 TFLs led the way for sure. Turn number 11, I would like a running back because <laughs> if you watched last video, running back and me did not get along. It's not going to be on offense either way though. What the heck? Legereus Sneed, then it is AFC West. We can try Malcolm Coonskin, even though I'm pretty sure he was round three yet, but we do know now it's 2021 and it's not the end. I don't know. Jaquan McMillan will try out. I went, what the heck? Who did I? Wait, Jaquan McMillan's not even here. All right, never mind then. Maybe he was undrafted. I don't know. <laughs> we can try Caden Stearns from the Broncos. Okay, that is a hell of a a hell of a pull. He's okay. Here's the thing. He's listed at DB, even though he's a safety. I don't know. That was a great pull, though. I'm very, I'm very happy with that one. <laughs> what can I say? The ball knowledge runs deep. Sometimes. <laughs> Did we win a game? Nope. Are we about to get Lamar Jackson? Yo. Nope. It is round one, though. That's good. You know what? Let's go with the boy. Rashawn Slater, baby. It is old line. It is going to be picks 13 to number three, it looks like. Okay, though. Early offensive lineman. I'm thinking Ikemiguanu of the Panthers. Not him either. I think we can rule out the NFC East as a whole. Is this Darnell Wright, potentially, of the Chicago Bears? It is not him. It's picks um seven through nine okay seven through nine in the west it looks like charles cross of the seahawks okay we got both their tackles now sorry seattle <laughs> which is also a double bonus because they are in our division and now you're telling me they're gonna have to start stone forsyth and george fan okay george fan's not too bad <laughs> but remember we do have a nice edge tandem of arnold abicady baron browning could we get our first win against seattle tell me we beat seattle we actually have him week 18, and it was it was kind of close. <laughs> what about the other game? What are we saying? 0-48? Okay. Yeah, we might still <laughs> be a little bit of ways away. Back we go, though, for turn number 13, and I, I thought it was something kind of fun. Maybe if I guess if I guess 10 in a row, I'm going to upgrade somebody's dev trait on our team. I think that would be a fun little uh, a fun, fun little twist, right? It all comes out of my ball knowledge, of course. So we can go Hufunga. He's going to be my safe, like, late round pull. It is round 5 in 2021. Try, like, a Caleb Evans. I don't know. <laughs> Just get him out there. It's not the North either. Try Benjamin St. Juice out of the NFC East. Okay, it looks like the South, then. See, what DB? safety what, what about corner south i hate the south clark phillips who we got last time around it is not him however it is on atl see look he's a corner corner db safety 
Falcons defense 2021. Oh, I don't know. Caden Ellis will try. Not him. He was drafted in New Orleans. The thing is, this player could very well be on another team now, and I just forgot, you know? Is it a defensive tackle? I just want to get the position out of the way. It is not. It's DN, probably, then? As how am I back to Falcons DN? I have no clue, man. In round five? Should I know? I don't know. Is it defensive end? We'll just try to get... Okay, it's not defensive end either. What is this? Outside linebacker? Ooh, wait, I have a good guess. Michael Walker? Nah, I loved that guess. He was in 2020, though. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm not getting this. Taquan Graham, yeah. No shot, dude. Of course, right when I start speaking of us getting on a little streak, I get freaking Taquan Graham. What position even is he? He's a left end 69 overall, man. There is no way. As so far, we have lost Rashawn Gary and Joey Porter Jr. So two really good pieces that we had on defense already this time around. It's going to be... Charles Cross, who we just got at left tackle. As his stint on our squad was very fast, just like his quarterback in real life. No cross, no sauce. And week 18 is just getting worse and worse. And let me tell you something. I'm recording this a little bit later on and I accidentally saved the file like, at the end of the season. So I just had to redo everything, which is kind of annoying. Luckily, we're not that deep into it. If I do that at like number 60 or something, <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, by the way, we just got Arizona Cardinals. We just got offense and it's recent as well. I should be able to get this one pretty much right away, right? Trey McBride maybe will go. I think he was round three, round four. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Hey, Kyler. Shout out, Kyler. And you want to know what the best part is, though? He's already on our team already. But I do have to give him all his stats again. However, with us having a Conquo, of course, I am going to move him to wide receiver alongside Mark Andrews. We just have three tight ends because I think he's utilized a little bit more in this playbook. And hey, he is a 72 overall, so it ain't too bad. Although when you say he's ranked 139th in the league, it, it sounds kind of bad. <laughs> but damn it, Trey, what you got for me? Okay, well, yeah, but let's look at the bright side of things. We scored three points in week 18. Please, draft or just give me one of those three guys, preferably Russ. Hey, hey, look at Kyler setting up career high, though. Two passing touchdowns. Run game. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Mark Andrews with a clean 800, had a touchdown as well as Trey McBride, who had 415 yards, 30 catches, not bad. And look at the pass rush duel of Arnold and Barron. 18 sacks combined there, Derwin did a little bit of everything. Literally, holy crap. Let me make sure not to save at this week. And get back to draft in one clean swoop. Let's get ourselves the, um, the the correct team right away again. That was very nice. Nope. Oh, it's going to be Commander. I was thinking Falcons, of course. He just moved there. However, it's going to be... Oh, he's also drafted in 2012. Kirk was not a great guess. I was doing it more so. The love of good old Kirk himself. Nick Chubb, round two. Okay, we got also round or pick number 30, 40-ish. Not a running back. We can try Nico Collins, although I, th I think he may have been third or fourth round. Yeah, he was round three, but now we know it's not a receiver either. Now I'm thinking old line 2022 plus it looks like let's go creed humphrey up next it is online O line afc east maybe we can try robert hunt although i feel like he's 2021 as well i'm not gonna lie no he's 2020 and he this is not a guard guys it's O line if you can even see that is this osiris torrance we guessed him like nine times last video oh my god we got just about everything there but the team it's gonna be pats or jets hold up 2023 though i actually missed this guy in my last video joe titman it is joe titman yo shout out to weddle as we now get to add ourselves in a young and quality starting center another oh and 17 however in week 18 we now lost zero to 70 so joe titman no tip for you man huh you know what, though? Kind of cool. We got in two players that I missed out on in my Weddle video here because, you know, now I know them. Let's go Panay Sewell here. Not in the north. It is going to be on offense, though. And once again, very recent. I am going to do Alec Pierce. Yeah, very out of left field. But we now know the division and the year and the round. It's going to be three, I suppose. Not sure. Taiji Spears, I guess we'll try out. It is on Tennessee. Okay. And round three. Could this be Malik Willis? No, it is not. How? Who else did they who else did they pick here? Why do I feel like this is just a Conquo again? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. It's also not tight end QB, running back, receiver, O line. Oh man, literally, what is this? Let me see. I'm just gonna try to get tackle all the way. Okay, it is their right tackle or left tackle. I'll be honest, I actually have no idea who their tackles even are, <laughs> besides Joe Alt, probably. It's gonna be an early forfeit for me. When I see it, I'm probably gonna be mad. Nicholas Petit Frayer. I don't think I would have got that anyway, though. Bro, what? Every time I click on this wheel, it just resets. It's just very annoying. Honestly, Caden Stearns, Joe Titman, I wouldn't be too mad about just, or even a Conquo. Honestly, we have, I mean, any other Titans besides Mark Andrews. Let me keep Mark Andrews, please. Arnold Ebicady, he's going to have to go. I need to turn that down. And another player we're going to have to say bye to now. It's our fourth highest overall as well. I think that's four people we've had to release already. 
Minus 25 ball knowledge. But you know what really sucks about it is that I just basically waste the spin because I don't even get to add that player. And then I got to release someone too. So it's kind of a double whammy. Arnold, I miss you already. Okay, I think we have found my kryptonite though. It is um late round offensive lineman. Please do not give me any of that. Okay, we're going to get defense. I guess they listen. Also way below 2021. Oh God. Why can't I think of anybody old on defense? <laughs> I'm just going to go Tyron Matthew, even though I know I know he went to LSU and Jamar Chase went to LSU. It's OK, though. We'll just get. Oh, I forgot he went to. I forgot he got drafted to the Arizona. I was thinking Texans. Also going to be around four, round five. God, man. Desmond King. I forgot he was on the Chargers. I was thinking um Texans as well. OK, I mean, we got round five and it's also not that old. OK, Tyron Matthew drafted in 2013 actually doesn't even sound real all right division division let's just get the division out the way will anderson it's not linebacker and it's also gonna be afc east maybe we can try like kyle duggar and it is gonna be on new england okay england we can try jack jones it is dude see i'm trying to get corner out of the way we have db safety safety db and i'm not gonna cap i might be cooked again here i'm gonna give myself one guess remaining is it corner what position is this we have db safety linebacker dt defensive end corner outside linebacker um what's his name josh uche if i pull this out no i thought i loki got it it's jawan bentley yeah that that stumped me i'm not gonna lie so back here we are again back to back not great from me at all let's go ahead and give it another spin as this time around it's going to land on i didn't get rid of arnold up katie by the way that's my bad, but we're going to lose Kane Stearns anyway. And to be fair, it could be a lot, a lot worse, but Kane Stearns, it still hurts to hurt, or it still hurts to hurt. Yes, it does. Still hurts to lose a player as of now. And at this point, I feel like my guess of 56 is not even going to be close. Until, of course, they give me Joe Shiesty himself. Whoa. Okay, it's recent then. Let's go Trevor Lawrence. I'm going to go with the guys I want on my team. Come on gonna be Trayvon Walker it looks like I would love a quarterback though you know that would just be nice Trayvon Walker they'll get on the team and we'll slot him in right at linebacker however even the former number one overall pick can't save us right now but you want to know which former number one pick can the goofball baby Jared Goff no it is gonna be 2017-2018 on offense in the NFC though try maybe Alvin Kamara of the Saints not running back not 2017 and it's gonna be round five no not even it's round six isn't it um Okay, well, let's just try to get the division slash, um, it's not, why did I just go defense, dude? <laughs> mm, maybe I'll try Dallas Goddard. He's popping out in my head for whatever reason. Nope, it is not him, not tight end either, but it is Philly. Philly, Philly, Philly. I'm thinking maybe something old line, Jordan Mailata. Hold up, let me type, please. Jordan Mailata, maybe? I know he was chosen way later. It is Jordan Mailata, baby. Of course, out of Australia, I believe. Former rugby player, of course. Woo! Ooh, now that is freaking hype as he is one of the best players on a stacked equals roster at 88 overall and he's immediately our second highest overall on our franchise blindside protector now just to cross my fingers and hopefully i don't lose him on the wheel ah, let's be honest though he's still protecting nobody but we could make it somebody right here you know what you keep giving me these freaking late rounders brock party baby mr irrelevant san francisco i wish i didn't go round seven now but we got the team that's good um, let's just fire off some freaking names. Hey, Nick Bosa. Come on. Give me Nick Bosa. Round two to three then. 2019, though. On offense. Nice. Debo? Debo, maybe? I think he might have been 2019. Oh, my. Oh, my. Our weapons are looking kind of nice. And you know, the best thing about Debo, too, is I could move him out to running back if we need running back in the future. And tell you what, Debo's got a soft spot in my heart because that one year where he was randomly playing a lot of running back and was elite for whatever reason, I had him on fantasy, and he was so, so freaking good, even though I got second place but damn it even with Debo we still are losing 0 to 56 in week 18 another offer yeah that boy Kyler got a predator missile though oh shout out Trey McBride <laughs> Trey McBride our Barbie okay never Debo though 61 catches 883 yards five touchdowns five out of the six by the way dude yeah the weapons low-key aren't bad hey still a lot of work though let's be honest still a lot of positions to do NFC offense recent Let's go Amon Ross St. Brown of the Lions, round four receiver in the north. Interestingly enough, we can try Darnell Mooney, although I do believe he was in round five, and he is, but it is Chicago in very recent. Very, very recent. Tyler Scott, I think his name is. Sure. <laughs> that one was a little crazy, but hey, it's another receiver. And with him now here, of course, that now makes me want to move Debo to you know where. QB1, baby. No, of course, that wide back. Huh? Huh? He's a... 
Because I was just about to go check him at the running back section. He's the highest overall on our team. He's at night. <laughs> I am so confused. Holy crap. Okay, well, there's your cheat code of the day. Move Debo to freaking running back. Bro, I'm just sitting here with my jaw drop. Look at that. He's the number two ranked halfback in the entire league. Also, shout out SC for winning the Women's March Madness, of course. Hashtag real hoops. Come on now. We have a tight end, three receivers, and a 97 elite RB1, and it's still 0 and 17 over here. Offense, though, 60 overall. It's orange. And I am as curious as ever. Debo, five a carry, one touchdown, 750 yards. Yo. Give him 500 attempts. Like genuinely, if a dude is averaging five a carry, let's let's give him the ball a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Okay, recent round two, round three, offense. Hey, I, I got everything wrong. Let's go with the little Jalen Hurts in the. Holy crap! Jalen Hurts. We just got that in two, by the way, which was crazy. But we just got Jalen Hurts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Philadelphia, I freaking love you. And now no more DoorDash, Desmond, or Call of Duty, Kyler. Because now we have Mr. Just Because the Plant Isn't Wet. Doesn't mean we didn't water it. As we were on turn number 22, Jalen Hurts should be the guy to add us. How? What? I mean, we gotta at least be knocking on the door, right? Okay, yeah, look at this. We're scoring points now, boys. Two possession game. We're not gonna worry about that. The Giants, out of all teams, the Giants. This is close to, we had, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're closer though. We will get a win in the next few turns, no doubt. Look at this, look at this. Wait, why are we losing to Philly still? <laughs> Who even is their freaking quarterback anymore? Oh my, hey, and look at Hurts though. Not bad at all. 3,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, and only nine interceptions. This is with pretty much zero protection. Actually, no, we got Mylotta and Joe Tittman now. The offense actually isn't bad. Debo, insane. Eight touchdowns, almost five a carry again, but Jalen Hurts as a quarterback, ridiculous. Mark Andrews had six touchdowns, Oconco with five, Trey McBride with four, Debo out the backfield's a demon. Honestly, though, we still need a lot of work on defense. I'm not gonna lie. I've gotten some great players, honestly, but um, I've rolled them in the wheel of death, sadly. And okay, not to spoil anything here, but we're on a five little streak right now with Trayvon Walker, Mylotta, Debo, Tyler Scott, and Jalen Hurts. Let's keep it going. Let's go to, we gotta get to 10, right, to get that Dev upgrade fred warner is up next it's gonna be round two to one this is this is looking good it's gonna be defense as well just what i said exactly what we needed jalen johnson not in the north not corner and round one and very recent it's gonna be 2023 okay can we cook right now there's no way right <laughs> guess i can try kalijah Kansi just to start things off oh my god we're kind of feasting right now. Hello? <laughs> and I mean, come on now. It's the famous setting around here. Don't let me get hot. Kalijah, are you the man to get us our very first win? Kalijah Gansey, say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. Win number one, baby. Who did we beat? Who did we beat? It is going to be the LA Rams inner division. We lost to the Steelers 0-3. to How? How did we not score a point? Good God, RB Debo is such a cheat code. As Kalijah Gansey was fairly quiet, to be honest with you. Only two and a half sacks, but only eight TFLs as well. 61 tackles is a bit though, but okay, your boy's feeling good now, feeling rejuvenated, my guess of 56, I think it was, is most definitely not out of the spectrum anymore, Jonathan Taylor, Wisconsin, ooh, Wisconsin, 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 Nick Herbig, it's not him, it's on offense, okay. Big old lineman then. Now it is recent, so let's try to just get the division out of the way. Not the north, not O line. And go to the west with Arizona. Nope, not. Oh, who's this? There's two Paris Johnsons on here? Really? On the same team? Oh, that's crazy. It's like Michael Carter on the Jets. That was also such a waste of a guess, but I was genuinely confused. 1999. What are you. What? what? Well, okay, then now we're running out of uh, guesses here. Only four guesses remain. Okay, it's the NFC East, not the Eagles, not receiver either. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Go John Michael Schmitz from the Giants here. It is not the Giants either. Dude, I'm. Okay, by the way, I'm trying to get like center or tackle here with Braxton Jones and Paris Johnson, but they're just O line. Let's try Ricky Stromberg. I actually have no idea where he even went he went to arkansas it is okay it's gonna be dallas then dallas offense jake ferguson this is jake ferguson he went to he went to wisconsin i'm pretty damn sure of that jake ferguson there we go baby that took me a little a little bit too long i'm not gonna lie and i guess for now we'll use him at tight end one with a conquo backing up but um maybe eventually i might move one of them to guard or something <laughs> bro you see what i mean how do we add a quality starter and not get a win now don't know don't care that's okay we're on a streak of seven by the way three more round one and it's gonna be defense in the nfc 
Let's go with... Nope, it's not going to be Micah Parsons because he was 11 or 12. I think 12. Let's go Brian Brissy. I don't know. NFC South. Okay, and it's between... What is that? 15 and 19? That was very stupid. What am I doing? Ooh, is this Isaiah Simmons maybe? Former Cardinal, of course. It is not, but... That, oh, he was pick number 8. I forgot about that, but it is linebacker arizona which prompts me to think zaven Collin out of of course oh is it tulane or tulsa i think tulane can we see it here tulsa damn it <laughs> zaven Collins back up to a 76 overall and the defense is coming along bro this is what i'm saying what why are we just progressively getting worse now i don't understand hertz was actually pretty good oh mark andrews even chopped a thousand yards for the first time and double digit touchdowns mm, a conquo only two receptions 14 yards though i might might have to move somebody to right guard zavin how did you let a zero overall kaiser white have more touched or more tackles than you almost the same tfls a similar amount of sacks almost the same picks how kaiser white is literally zero overall and you're freaking 78 overall without the morale you know what would have been funny is seeing um zavin calling stats before um before hello patrick Sir Sir sertan huh oh sorry broncos okay i'll go javante williams why not did a whole lot of nothing oh god dude yeah i know the safe choice though hufunga round five it, it just be hufunga one of these times that'll make me happy Round six to seven, man? I don't know. Eric Stokes. I'm just trying to get the division and the position. Whoa, we got the team as well, you know. Okay. What's the dude that's dating Simone Biles or Mary or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go Keyshawn or Davion Nixon first, though. It is Keyshawn Nixon, but I just chose the other one. Darnell Savage. I'm pretty sure he was pretty early. He was round one. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, Valentine something. Ver Valentine Carrington Valentine. Not him. How is it not him, man? We got the round, we got the position, we got the year, but you're telling me it's somebody else? I just pulled that one out of the bag, bro. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, there's no way I get this. Corey Valentine? I don't know. I'm not I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this. If it's not Carrington Valentine, then I don't freaking know. Who? Oh, I'm now just realizing that killed our streak of seven as well. This is the guy I was thinking of though, Valentine, this one. Bro, this dude isn't even on this team. NFL Anthony Johnson. He is a wide receiver. Wait, what? No, I mean, obviously there's going to be 9 million Anthony Johnsons out there, you know? He's a rookie. Doesn't even look like he played a game, though. Oh, my God. All right, well, now I'm uber scared because we have players like Jalen Hurts, a 97 Debo Samuel, Jordan Mailata. Please, please, Wheel of Death, do not be any of those guys. I am begging it is going to be okay. Honestly, one of the tight ends is perfectly okay with me. As it will be our 72 overall wide receiver, Trey McBride. But that just, of course, means now I'll move a Conquo to wide receiver. Where he is going to be a 65. It'll do for now. Bro, you see what I mean? We get rid of Trey McBride and now we're back up to one win. We see you, Debo Samuel, I emoji, <laughs> puffing emoji. <laughs> As back we go, streak of 10 has fallen short, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm ever going to get 10. We got to get very lucky at the end of the day, but that's why I made the uh, the reward so nice and upping a dev trade. That's pretty cool. Um, D-line, Jalen Phillips, what are we doing? Mm, let's go Alex Highsmith. I think he was in round three. He was in round three and in 2020. That's good. Not the north, not the east, though. Maybe we can try a Legereus Sneed on the Chiefs, of course. It is safety, though. That's nice. And not in the west. Um, We should be able to get this then. P Jalen Petrie, although I think he was in round two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was. Um, Safety. Ooh, who's the guy on the... Andre Sisko. Andre Sisko. It's not him. How? Why is he DB? <laughs> what, Colts, Titans then? Elijah Molden from UW, I believe? Oh my god. Okay, it's the Colts then. This could be Julian Blackman, I suppose? It is Julian Blackman. I just went through literally everybody, but um, Julian Blackman's nice. I remember earlier we had to release um Caden Stern, so Julian Blackman is immediately our free safety number one alongside Derwin at strong safety. Defense is coming out. Okay, as long as we can stay here now at one win, I will be happy. Because it's all about improvement at the end of the day, right? Either, whether it's a little jump or a big jump, as long as you're going up. Tyler Linderbaum up next, it's going to be pick 16 to 24. Let's try Marshawn Lattimore here. Wait, ooh. New Orleans right away. It's way lower than 2017, which makes me think it's got to be Cam Jordan, right? 
right? As we'll slide him into defensive tackle, he goes up plus two overall to an 88. And damn, I was hoping Cam Jordan would kind of skyrocket us a little bit, but hey, still at one. Offensive rush yards per game, up to number four. Defensive pass yards per game, up to top 10. Target emoji, football emoji, double hand. Bro, Debo freaking Samuel. How did our boy Cam Jordan do though? 12 and a half sacks from interior D-line and 15 TFLs. Baron Browning is still that freaking dude. Imagine we still had Rashawn Gary too. Who I believe was the very first person we added, right? That's okay though because we're going to upgrade with Micah Parsons. Ooh, linebacker in 2021, round two to three, though. NFC, let's go with Pete Werner. Nope, round three, not south. Rams, maybe? Ernest Young or Ernest Jones? Who's Ernest Young? It is Ernest Jones. I just remember his amazing performance in the Super Bowl, of course, against the Bengals. Hey, that's, that's a pretty nice addition. And more importantly, of course, we take him from a divisional rival. And with the new addition, our linebacker room is filled. The defense actually now looks serviceable. Besides our stinking cornerbacks. Ernest Jones is the man to get us the two wins. But I now think it's time for a stud corner, don't you think, Draftle? JC Horn, welcome to the team. Nope, it's going to be offense. Very, very recent. Um, Let's go with my boy, Devon Achahahahan. Can I type Devon Achan? It is AFC East 2023, not RB, though. Round two. Round two, this dr this year's draft, the last draft. Um, Demario Douglas? Was he round two? I don't think he was. Yeah, he was round six. Not New England. Not receiver. Is there a tight end? Obviously, Kincaid went in round one. Ooh, what's his name? Spencer Brown? I think he was a few drafts ago, but we'll go him just to see if it's Buffalo as it is. And it's O-line. Who did they just draft? Ooh, why don't I remember at all? It was round two. Is this Osiris Torrance? Oh, it is. <laughs> I've gone over Osiris Torrance like a combined seven times in my last two videos, and we finally get it. And although just a 69 overall, it is a big upgrade to our own line as we only got one hole left. And Loki, we do still need kicker and punter. I don't, can we even get that on draft? I don't know. And look at our guy, Osiris Torrance, getting us back down to one win. I'm dang it, I'm looking at our list again. If we didn't get freaking Anthony Johnson in the middle there, we'd be on our absolute roll right now. We've gotten like... 11, 12, 13 in a row if it wasn't for Anthony freaking Johnson. Andrew Thomas, welcome to the team. NFC East, good start, very recent, and it's going to be on defense. Let's go Deron Bland. I'm pretty sure he was a later round pick. Round five, that was a good guess. Not on Dallas either, though. Cameron Curl from the Commanders. It is Washington. It is safety, which means it should be my boy Derek Oh no. <laughs> how how is this even possible? <laughs> I don't know. Benjamin St. Juice? Is he listed at safety for some reason? It could be somebody super obvious, but I I don't know. Percy Butler. Percy Butler. Yeah, Percy Butler is not too bad. 71 overall as well. Every time I talk about the streak I'm on, I miss the next one. Which means we gotta spin this lovely gentleman once again. And I am a little scared now because we got some great players on our team now. There's a lot of players to go around though. No, no! Really? Really? You're gonna take our quarterback away from us? Really? Oh my god. Dude, the worst part is it was right next to Kalijah Hansi, right next to Tyler Scott, and in between that is Jalen freaking Hurts, bro. The plants are dead. What? <laughs> what? Wait. Did I not release him? Could have sworn I re whatever. I would do it on the next one. It's not affecting anything anyway. Justin Herbert looks like we're not gonna get another quarterback to replace him. 2023, it looks like though. Round two, round three. AFC as well. I'm thinking Tank Dell, maybe. I think he was round three. Nope, it is not him. It's also not on offense. Round two. Could this can you please give me Joey Porter Jr. again? Oh, what is what the heck? We've gotten him twice. I'll take Joey Porter back. Wait, I'm so confused. Jalen Hurts is gone. He's not on our team anymore. Why did we have him in that simulation? Damn it, look at all these free agents here. Justin Simmons, Gilmore, Micah Hyde, of course. Jalen Hurts, now X, Savian Howard, Rashawn Gary, who we had to let go. Where is our guy, though? Where is our guy? Oh, he's right here, Joey Port. I was looking for the junior. <laughs> and okay, I think they signed us Jalen Hurts because we don't have another quarterback I let go of, Desmond Ritter. <laughs> so I'm just going to make my boy Frodo a quarterback. And you know what? He can be our franchise guy right away as well as... We finally get ourselves a DB again, and it's the same one we had earlier. And there it is, the reality of not having a quarterback anymore. Until that is, we get ourselves a little Dak preschool. Nope, around five to six. Oh. Actually, y'all know who we start with. Oh, it's not an NFC though. Whatever, I'll go him anyway, just to see. <laughs> 
Round six. I, I can't even think of anybody. I don't know. Let's just knock out some divisions here. Not corner, but 2022. Try Jerome Baker. See if it's on the east. It is not. Not linebacker. Try the AFC West with George Karloftis. Okay, West, D end, and 2022. Round six, though, dude. I don't freaking know. <laughs> Malcolm Koontz, was, is he on the Raiders? No. The Broncos, it is the a Broncos defensive end in round six. I, I, I'm not even going to think, honestly. There's, there's no way. There's no way. No way. No way we have gotten Matt Hessingson again. And to be honest with you, if it wasn't the last recording session... I might have gotten that. <laughs> Bro, come on though. What are the odds that we get Matt Hessingson twice in the span of what, 32 picks here? Abraham or Chiggy, honestly, I don't really mind. Just don't be Darwin, you feel me? As yes, it does suck to lose our starting right tackle. And not a bad one at that either, but um, it's not gonna kill us. It's not like he's protecting anybody anymore. Oh, I lost my joy again. We need to get blessed again. Please, Draft of Gods, if you're listening to me, give me the goat himself. Patrick Mahomes, Herbert, Herbert, no, it's round one, wait, who is this, 2017, it's recent, no, 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 <laughs> how have we managed to get Aiden O'Connell in back-to-back -back videos, <laughs> honestly though, whatever, it's nice just to have a quarterback, you know, low-key Aiden O'Connell, you get us back to one win, you're in my, you're in my good books, all right, you suck, <laughs> as he had 3,000 yards, 12 touchdowns, 23 interceptions, he is, uh, not Jalen Hurts. Turn number 34 now, I believe. Let's go Brian Burns. Okay, that's that's crazy. I'm, I'm already stumped. You know what? <laughs> Matt, wait, how do you even spell his name? Can you even... Wait, what? Wait, what? Can you even guess the brother? Okay, no, I'm just... Oh, Henningsen. Henningsen, baby. Oh, my God. Why was that kind of close? Um, This could be Pacheco, though. I'm not going to lie. I think this is Pacheco. He was in round seven. It is on offense. It is in AFC West. It is... Isaiah Pacheco. <laughs> By the way, check out the guest distribution. Still not one in one, but we've gotten three and two. Eight of them in number three. Number three seems to be hot. Four and five, of course, as well. The others, eh. But see, here's the thing. Now I'm going to predict a mint because um, he's just not better than Debo, is he? You know what I mean? Although Pacheco is kind of nice on Madden, so I'll probably move Debo back out wide. I mean, he's nice in real life, too. Don't get me wrong. And all I'm saying is it feels nice to finally have a running back. If you know, you know. I also moved Chiggy out to left guard. He's a 51. It's better than Elijah Wilkinson. And low-key, I think this addition gets us back to one win. And it does. There we go. And okay, Aiden O'Connell might be cooking. The QB1 for the foreseeable future. 13 tuds, 17 picks. It's not terrible. <laughs> Pacheco, animal, 4.5 carry, almost 1,100 yards. Only 4 tuds, though. I mean, it might be crazy, but like, should I move Debo back to running back and Pacheco to wide receiver? <laughs> huh? You know what I mean? The dude's just a freaking 97 overall running back receiver. NFC early let's go tyler lockett we're going way back here nfc west though is good but it's in between everything here later than round three man fine Jawan jennings baby oh my god <laughs> that was kind of sick almost the 2023 super bowl mvp himself that was a crazy guess as a little San Fran, I will happily just take one of your receivers one at a time. And I think for now, we'll keep Debo Samuel out of wide receiver. We'll see how we do. And okay, it seems like our floor is one win again. As you know, we're trying to get back to what we once were. Bryce Young, can you help us out a little bit? Come on. Honestly, I have no idea what to even go here. Jadavion Clowney, I don't know. Um, Wait. Oh, no. Oh no, it's a special teamer. Evan McPherson? Wait, where's Justin Tucker though? Why is he not in here? Okay, it's a kicker. We need a kicker. So I'm down. I'm just a little scared who this could be. <laughs> oh, Jason Sanders. Oh, let's go. Thank you for making it easy on me and giving me a fin. And like I said earlier, I didn't know if you can get kicker or punters, but um, nice to see you can get special teams now. Just don't give me any more of them. <laughs> Besides a punter, I need one more punter. And look at what getting yourselves a kicker actually does. Okay, although he went 14 for 21 for a 66 completion rate. It looks like the Clay Thompson I just watched. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a tad confused. I usually write down every single player I get in the number. I am on 37, but right here it says 36, so... I don't really know. Let's go Tyreek Hill, who was a late round pick out of West Alabama, I believe, from Kansas City. Ooh, receiver. AFC as well, round four to round three. You know what? We can try out Tank Dell again, as he was a great pick. Oh, you know, okay. you know what's annoying? 
was gonna go Nico Collins, but I said, let's go Tank Dell again, why not? And it ends up being Nico Collins. And with Nico Collins now here, our receiver room is not only deep, but it's actually pretty good, which means I think I'm gonna move Mark Andrews back as he's now officially our highest overall at 95. The team is looking, I think the best it's ever looked. I just, mm, if we still had Jalen Hurts, man, we might be a playoff team. But after adding in Nico Collins, we go down a win at two and 15. You know, the only missing piece we have left is right tackle. How about a little Dristin Wolves action for us? Okay, round one, it looks like a very early pick as well 2019 20 okay offense let's go miles garrett although i'm pretty sure it's 2017 he is yep not him not number one either obviously i suppose this could be my boy christian wilkins on the miami dolphins that was close that was close we did get a lot checked out though um who went before christian wilkins was it dexter lawrence no this is afc east you dummy who is this Ooh, whoa, 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 how do I type his name? Quinn, Quinnin, Quinnin Williams. There it is. There it is, baby. As we are going to add ourselves a cheeky little 95 overall. As that addition was perfect because we needed another defensive tackle too. Everything else looks really good now. Yes, we still need more corners, but um, they're not going to have any time in the pass anyway with these two. And can Big Q be the guy to get us above three wins for the first time? <laughs> You see, but how do we add? Go Our offense was ranked 32nd dead last in the league. Defense, a little bit better. And yes, Pacheco is pretty good, no doubt about that. But um, is it Debo Samuel good? <laughs> oh my God, look at these numbers. Okay, Quinton Williams kind of went off. 20 TFLs, eight sacks for him. Baron Browning's been a monster literally since the very beginning. I got him at pick number three. Zayvon Collins, nice here. Ernest Jones, Trayvon Walker, eight and a half sacks like that. Cam Jordan. Expect a little more from you, big man. You know what? I'm feeling different. Let's throw it way back. Aaron Rodgers, baby. Oh, <laughs> uh, that did not help at all, did it? We could try out like Jamel Dean. No? Okay. Jamel Dean. Why did he not just pop up? I don't know. Ooh. Tampa Bay. Round two, it looks like. Okay. Joe Tryon was round one. 20, oh, under 2019. Vita Vea? No, I think Vita Vea was 2019, 2018. Whatever. We'll type him in just to see. Okay, he was round one. Am I dumb? Obviously. Okay, below 2018 though means this is an older player, right? Right? Levante David, welcome to the squad. Yo, this defense is getting cracked out. Tampa Bay's fourth highest overall to 90. And superstars after superstars. I got my joy back, you could say. Come on now, this defense alone should be able to win us at least three games. Five and 12, the highest win total yet. The numbers are all into the, the yellowy numbers. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, look at Qu Quinn and Williams and the sack leaders. 15? Oh my god, huh? Ain't no gonna put up 30? Hold up, why did they ain't no gonna just go kinda nuts? Dude, but Checo's just kinda mid, I'm not gonna lie. I know our O-line isn't great. Dude, what happened this year? I didn't do I didn't change anything. I guess Levante David was just the locker room later. We needed 127 tackles for him. 20 TFLs for Trayvon Walker. Look at everybody with double digits there and the sack numbers are crazy too 10 and a half this time from cam jordan 15 from big q trayvon nine and a half and oddly enough the quiet man was baron browning back to drafto once again if i was a player to be guessed in one who would i be who would i be i would be matthew stafford Ooh, oh mad close you know round one quarterback um it's close as well and the first guy that comes to mind is uh cj stroud damn it um afc though number th all right it could be a lot actually okay well let's just fire off some freaking quarterbacks hey josh allen nope it's under number seven so not mahomes i think mahomes was number eight 2019 2019 2020 Ooh, ooh, ooh. herbert herbert baby we got a qb oh no we don't have a number between 20 and zero i'm gonna throw up i am moving tyler scott to cornerback there's nothing you can do about it what rating is he gonna be 49 hey that's not as bad as these guys but check out this freaking offense now with justin herbert as our qb1 pacheco debo joan jang nico collins mark anders old lines looking kind of mid i'll be honest with you besides my lotta <laughs> And I'm pretty sure we just went 5-12, and 12, right? Now with Justin Herbert instead of Aiden O'Connor, we should be... Worse? Make it make... Herbert! What are these numbers? <laughs> oh my god, he unlocked Pacheco for sure, though. But, like, 
What? That is the most maddening thing I've ever seen in my life. Lane Johnson, we still need a right tackle. Not taco is offense though, NFC as well. Chris Godwin, bang. Nope, West round two, we can try DK Metcalf. It is not DK Metcalf, it's a little even more recent. Why did I go receiver? Um, we know it's the North now though. Try maybe TJ Hawkinson. I think he went round one, but we'll, we'll just give it a try. Why not? It is not correct. Could still be O-line for sure. We'll try out Elton Jenkins, even though I think he's 2019 as well. Yep, it is not center. Wait, so they're center? What? Ezra Cleveland? I think, no, he's a tackle, I guess. Bears offense round two, extremely recent, extremely recent. Vayus Jones Jr.? I think he's round three, yeah. It's not received. Oh, this is Tevin Jenkins. This is Tevin Jenkins. They didn't go running back because they have Cleo Herbert and Roshan. Yeah, Tevin Jenkins clicks out, checks out. As we went ahead, slid him out to right tackle where I believe he played in college. It was either right or left tackle. Um, This offense now, though, is ready. Can Justin Herbert do it, though? I don't know. <laughs> Herbert, please, for the one time. All right, at least he got us to our personal record yet of 6 and 11. Still no playoffs though for now. I'm still quite confused why Aiden O'Connell just popped off that one year. Like we not only upgraded with Justin Herbert, we also got Den or Tevin Jenkins now, you know, on the old line. I don't know. Denzel Ward? No. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Uh, wait, we're Loki kind of on fire. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're on a set. We know. Eight, nine. We're on a nine streak. Aiden O'Connell, Pacheco, Jawan Jennings, Jason Sanders, Nico Collins, Quinn Williams, Levante David, Justin Herbert, Tevin Jenkins. We are on a nine streak. I need to get this one so we can upgrade somebody's dev trait. Okay, okay, let's let's take this serious. NFC offense early. Let's go Camara. It's not gonna be Camara, but we'll just uh test out the waters here as it is gonna be 2017, at least not RB though. Man, I'm kind of scared. We really need to get this one. What am I trying to say? Biadosh. Tyler Biadosh, baby. Um, oh, number 146. Okay, I know exactly who it is now. I'm just kidding. I don't who the hell knows that. <laughs> um, not the East though. Dude, it's crazy, but 2017 was such a long time ago. Like, I don't even remember. Let's just try like Jonah Jackson, I really have no clue. Um, okay, not a see, why is it it's guard center tackle now? Maybe like Christian Kirk, of course, formerly on the Cardinals. Ooh, I like that guess a lot. Maybe Tyler Higby. Nah, it is a tight end though. It is a tight end though. Okay, tight end. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that that's a that's a that's guest number ten as well. That's guest number ten as well. I get to upgrade somebody. Who do I upgrade? Okay, we did we could do Herbert, just X Factor. We could do Pacheco up. I think O line. Don't really care about O line. Let's be honest. Defense. I mean Joey Porter, superstar would be nice. Even Quinnen maybe up. I think maybe Trayvon Walker even too. But who am I getting? Let's put it on freaking Herbert. All right, and for getting ten guesses in a row. Justin Herbert can go up a dev trait. I can't believe I got 10 in a row. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Honestly, we had some tough ones too. Not really, but <laughs> who was the toughest one? Jason Sanders, I guess. Who did we get? George, oh, we got, we got George Kittle, I forgot. <laughs> and of course, and of course, it's from a divisional rival. They're gonna have to start Cameron Law too. Dude, what are the odds I played Kittle at guard or something? <laughs> Let's be honest, he'd probably be pretty elite there. I low-key kind of just want to see what rating he'd be at left guard. 69 overall, dude. That's the same as Osiris Torrance. Should I try it one year or is that a waste? <laughs> Let's try it. Let's give it a go. One year. Just one year. And the moment of truth. Can left guard George Kittle unlock Justin Herbert? 7 and 10 this time. Yo, look at the team now. Look at the team now. 82 overall. 88 offense. We have come a long way. Defensive passers per game. Look at that. Number one in the league. And we have Tyler Scott at CB2. <laughs> oh my God, Quinn and Williams is going crazy. Look who's number two though. I can't believe we had him both. Okay, Herbert, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I expected. 2,000 yard receivers. Mark Andrews not really getting involved too much as a tight end, but let's go to the sack number two. Tevin Jenkins gave up the most. Look at Kittle. Two giving up, are you kidding me? And although we are on fire right now, I think I got two more in me for today. It is really late. As you know, I got to get up to watch City Madrid. I am terrified of that game. Reek Woolen, let's start off here. Looks like an early rounder at least. 
Defense, NFC. I guess we can try Brian Burns again. Why not? It is round one. It is going to be later, though. Maybe... No, way, way lower than 2019. Oh, God. Go with a bit of a crazy throwback. Brandon Graham. 20... Oh, my God. It's close to 2010. Are you kidding me? Okay, and it's also going to be in the north, it looks like. Oh, God. Who in the world is this? Preston Smith? Nope, he was drafted by Washington. Didn't even know. Dude, I'm so scared to get the Wheel of Death again. Let's try to get the team. Let's try to get the team. Darnell Savage, it is not Green Bay. This one could definitely stump me, not gonna lie. Bears, it is not Bears or safety either. Actually, I just went safe. Gotta be a linebacker. Some linebacker. Mm, Eric Kendricks? No! I loved that guess. I really did. It is gonna be Minnesota, though. We do know that now. Wait, no. We already got safety, though. Harrison Smith? That's the only guy that, like, relatively makes sense. Okay, it's Harrison Smith. You see what I mean, though? He's a DB. We got safety. We got corner. Why is he a DB? <laughs> Honestly, that probably took me a little too long to think of, but um, we got the hitman at the end of the day. And I think with Harrison Smith now here, I might move Derwin a corner. He should be a fine overall. Yeah, he's an 88. That'll do. And despite being an 87 overall team now, we go 5 and 12, still bottom of the division. And all right, last guess for me today. I believe we're on number 45, if I'm not mistaken, Nick Chubb. You were not him. Oh, no. Are we going to we're, we're gonna end off like this, huh? Not offense. I was going to go Purdy. We'll go with his teammate, though. Hufunga, of course. It is round five. It's AFC. Nice. Oh, no. Christian Benford. AFC East DB. Nope. It's recent, though. It was this year, actually. Okay. Or this recent, you know what I mean. Maybe Christian Harris? I don't think he was um picked this late, but we'll try out the South at the least. Okay, I should be able to get this. Ooh, it's from Bama too. Oh, um, what's his name? Toa Toa? Henry Toa Toa, baby. Let me freaking cook, bro. Come on. The Bar Knowledge is an absolute premium on this channel. As you know, Henry Toto will get on the squad. As he adds some much needed depth to our linebacker room as we're going to end off today on a 12 guessing streak. Um, can we see the playoffs with you? Absolutely not. Today is the day we finished the Drafto Challenge. And look at the thing with Drafto. They still have the game we had yesterday, of course. We ended off on Henry Toa Toa on a, of course, 12 current streak round. If I get to 20, I'm doing two dev upgrades. You, you guys cannot tell me any freaking different. AJ Terrell is going to be number one today. It's going to be NFC South defense 2019-2018. Way later on, though. Mm, I'm going to try CD. How do you spell his name? CJ? Gardner okay CJ Gardner Johnson I think he was on the Saints I think he was drafted round four or later wow how was it on him we get safety we get round four it is not New Orleans though this one could stump me <laughs> man why is the first one always the hardest I swear like I genuinely don't even have a clue Xavier Woods was drafted on Dallas nice I don't freaking know Mike Edwards on the Bucks okay it is Tampa Bay dang how was it not him man oh I gotta think what's his name Jordan Whitehead I remember Jordan Whitehead was on that team. Oh my God. I am very happy about that one. Jordan freaking Whitehead, we just pulled that one out. As I think for now, we'll keep him at strong safety, add some depth at the safety position. But if it comes to it, um, we will move him out to corner, of course. I did make a few changes. George Kittle is now a tight end, 97 overall. So Conk was going to be starting again. Debo is going back to running back, where, of course, he's at 90 freaking seven. And then I moved Mark Andrews back out to wide receiver. And if I am not mistaken, I do not believe we have made the playoffs once yet in this video. So here we are on turn number 46. Can this be the one finally? Jordan Whitehead, were you the guy to do it? We. What? Wait, dude, are my team ranks look ridiculous? Um, okay. This team has arrived. I have not changed any playbooks or anything yet. We are straight on Arizona as the Ravens beat us, one of the two teams, and then the Steelers out of all teams. 20, 48 on our head as well. How are we 15 and 2? I feel like I gotta check out the stats. Offensively, we were number one in the league. Justin Herbert was maybe the MVP of the entire league. Two yards shy of 4K, but 37 touchdowns, three picks. Okay, but honestly, I think this tandem really carried us. Debo was insane. Five and a half a carry, 1,500 yards. Pacheco had 17 touchdowns. Mark Andrews, 15 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. Nico Collins broke 1,000. Juwan Jennings, Kittle, all good. I am astounded right now. 104 tackles for Levante David. 15 TFLs for Quinnen. 12 for Trayvon Walker. These numbers don't look too crazy. 13 and a half for Cam Jordan there. Interceptions, four for Derwin. Two for the hitman. Blackman got two as well. But where is he? Jordan Whitehead was the man that changed it all. He had 15 tackles. A little deflection. 
collection in there too. I don't know if you caught a lot of those results though, but a lot of them were one possession, really close games. So maybe a fraudulent 15 and two, similarly to the Vikings a few years back, of course. However, this team is definitely ready to win right now as we win our very first playoff game against Kirko and the Atlanta Falcons. 27-17, now we got the Green Bay Packers heading to Arizona. And ladies and gentlemen, we, I just started recording. We are, I thought this was going to go on for another 15 to 20, and it definitely could. We still have to win the Super Bowl, of course, but um, we're already here. And that's a good start, however it is, against the 15 and 2 Baltimore Ravens. I've literally been recording for 10 minutes, bro. <laughs> we do have a higher overall, though. 87, they're in 86, of course. Derrick Henry now there. Are we taking anybody from them? All I remember is Ben freaking Cleveland way earlier on. All right, though. Let's get things rolling. We have made it already, and we get the first touchdown of the game. The Ravens do equalize quickly, but we are driving down onto the Ravens 37 to start off quarter number two. And we score another touchdown. Are we about to finish this challenge? I'm, I don't want to speak too soon, but like... We are on fire right now. It's 24 to 7. Fourth quarter is on its way. The Bravens only have 13 points as we speak. They're okay, okay, okay. We just punted them the ball as well, it looks like. We may have spoke too soon. Derrick Henry gets the handoff here. Only up three points now. Oh, God, now I'm scared. It was 24 to 7, isn't it? What is our offense doing in this second half? Who freaking knows? Derrick Henry gets another handoff, breaks a tackle, but we do get him just short. Clock is ticking, though, and of course, they do have Justin Tucker. They just got to get a few more yards. You know that boy JT is probably putting one away to tie up the ball game. Derrick Henry gets stuffed in the backfield. The hitman, Harrison Smith. I'm not sure who that defensive lineman was that broke through right away and got the tackle, and they're going to be punting the ball. Wow. Okay. And all right, let's go. We could really ice the game at this very moment. Under three minutes to go, Justin Herbert, number 22, in empty. Ooh. Would love to see a replay, but we're not going to, sadly. 2.38 to go now. Herbert, hit. no, he takes it himself. Herbert. Just short of the first down. Third and one. Ballsy play design, but I freaking love it. Two-minute warning has now passed. We get this first down. We are looking as good as ever. By the way, I just remember, we took Mark Andrews from them. Okay, there goes Baltimore's first time out. We just got to kill the clock now. Debo, Ooh. Justin Herbert, I wouldn't mind putting the ball in your hands, my guy. Herbert drops back, time in the pocket. First down, ladies and gentlemen, we just won. I just started recording. <laughs> we Jordan Whitehead was the guy to do it. At 46, this is the quickest we have ever completed one of these challenges, but... um. Here we are with a 24-21 victory already. What? <laughs> we we won. The, the challenge is completed. 24-21. I don't, I don't really even know what to say. <laughs> kind of wish I just finished it yesterday now. Not only did we win the Super Bowl, this was our very first time even making the playoffs. So, I don't know. Insane storyline. Herbert was insane. 18 for 25. 30 touchdowns. No interceptions. He's probably going to be Super Bowl MVP. Debo, a little lackluster. Only 3.7 to carry. The run game really wasn't too effective today. Nico Collins was a demon, though. 111 yards. One touchdown. We know Juwan Jennings is a Super Bowl performer, right? George Kato. Mark Andrews even had a touchdown on his former team. Quinton Williams and Cam Jordan get the only sacks of the game for our team. No interceptions as well. I was fully anticipating to be recording for another hour or two. Maybe even three if the luck came to that. But, um... Just finished it right away. We can check out the team schemes here too. It's still Arizona. And my guess of 46 was 10 short, sadly. Four, 40s is crazy, bro. As your Super Bowl MVP is none other than Justin Herbert. As that is by far the fastest I've ever completed one of these challenges, but I guess Drafto did kind of bless us with some great players. You can check out everybody here that we have added onto our squad. Every single person was added besides the people I lost. And we lost some good people too. Jalen Hurts, I remember. Charles Cross. I think Rashawn Gary, the number one guy we added to. But Jordan Whitehead, adding him onto this team was um made a world of a difference. Carried us all the way to the Super Bowl after not even making the playoffs, which is just crazy. Henry Toa Toa we just added as well with Cyrus Torrance, Aiden O'Connell, we have a Congo at freaking left guard, Tyler Scott at corner, and then we still have all these zero overalls on this team too. I still have a ton of draft picks to trade because I was getting ready to go a lot more, you know? And if you want to look at it from this view, here you go. I guess some of these changes we made really skyrocketed us to another spectrum, honestly. And as always, if you guys are still watching, appreciate you a lot. Thank you for watching the entire thing. It truly means a lot to me and helps me out a ton more than you would ever know. But um, 
Of course, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you guys would like me to do this challenge again. Draft a word or whatever one, but maybe do 17 and 0, maybe do 20 and 0 as well. Just, you know, get all these challenges out. If you have any other ideas, of course, feel free to leave them down in the comments below as well. I do read every single comment, so I'll let you know. Maybe we can do it in the future, maybe in the offseason. Of course, with a draft coming up, probably going to do be doing a lot of rebuilds, whichever team makes some trades, have some fun draft picks as well. So get ready for the team rebuilds. I will be doing a rebuild on every single team in the league. Let's end it off with a GOAT running back himself, Debo Samuel with a 97 overall gem. Hope you all enjoyed, of course, and uh, see ya.